Noise is an avoidable part of seismic recordings. Seismic signal without a noise might be just an illusion. And we have seen articles on noise removal from seismic even on this channel, but they have always relied on supervised machine learning technique. This is the case when we train a neural network using both contaminated and clean seismic data. And you might imagine there are many difficulties with it. Especially the part that we need to get clean seismic data free of any background noise. It would be wonderful to develop a technique to train the network without having to supervise it directly. The network must essentially figure out what constitutes noise and how best to remove it. My name is Ruslan and I'm here to show you how general purpose noise suppression technique called noise to void can be used to clean up seismic data. Let's assume for the sake of argument that seismic random noise is completely unpredictable. Knowing one value, we could not possibly anticipate the next value. It is completely random. The noising in this case might be built as a self-supervising technique, where the network learns how to rebuild a signal that have spatial temporal coherency while filtering out random noise. To reduce random noise, the researchers here in this work employed a technique called noise to void, which is described very well in the original paper. It operates on patches of a single image, swapping out some of the pixels in each patch with pixels from the surrounding areas. This could be one pixel corruption, or a percentage of total number of pixels in the image. The corrupted patches are then fed into a neural network while the original patches are used to represent the target values. The network then actually attempts to recover the value of a corrupted pixels by analyzing the whole image. And the author started the testing of the proposed neural network with two synthetic models, one with white Gaussian noise contamination and the other with bandpass noise. And think about it, synthetics are pretty handy here, since we can construct a control testing environment where we know uncontaminated seismic image. It's good that they verify performance in multiple ways. First, controlling PSNR value of the original and the noise seismic data, and then checking spectrum frequency plot and examining the impedance inversion result. The proposed approach works well with artificially generated Gaussian noise. The PSNR value has improved, and the frequency spectrum curve is now much closer to the ideal noise-free wave field. In contrast to the noisy data, the acoustic impedance model obtained through inversion on the denoise data is far more accurate and has far less artifact. While the PSNR does increase when presented with bandpass noise. The effect is not as pronounced as it was when facing Gaussian noise. We see a growing similarity with the noise-free data's amplitude spectrum. And if you do an inversion on the denoise image instead of the noisy one, you will get a more accurate representation of the subsurface. Nonetheless, as after stated, there appears to be some signal leakage in and around the cell body at the center. How about we move to a real-world example? The suggestion the denoising network is then applied to field data and compared with two most commonly used random denoising techniques like FX deconvolution and curvelet transform. The denoise results from these three approaches are displayed here. The proposed network shows better results than the other methods, but still we see some signal leakage here, but it's not as pronounced as in other methods. Data from the FX deconvolution and curvelet domains shows that energy have been lowered across all bandwidths, but the results from noise to void shows less reduction. And finally, we'll look at the denoised and original data inversion results. The noise to void appears to have more information and better contrast between features, much like what we've seen in the image domain. Here's another useful video I made for you. This time on using deep learning to filter out coherent noise in seismic data. I really enjoy reading these kind of papers. If you are the author or you know an interesting and open ML paper in oil and gas, reach out to me.